hello everyone welcome back to the five minute tech channel today we'll continue on our microservice architecture journey uh, in part four we'll be talking about uh, creating a microservice using redis with asp.net core so continuing with the basic design we'll be today talking about the shopping cart service which has a backend as a redis and we'll be trying to implement this microservice and integrating with the overall uh, system of microservice implementation. To begin with, we'll first talk about what is Redis. So Redis is an abbreviation of remote dictionary server expression. It positions itself as a data structure server. Um, Redis is an open source no SQL database, which is important to know. And that originally holds memory. Redis ability to store and use high level data structure. It has that ability and these data structures are the basic data that we uh, basically work with every day like list, map and set, etc. So what are the benefits and disadvantages of uh, Redis? So advantages are it is extremely fast because it works synchronously. Um, it supports many data types and can save data both on RAM and the and the disk. Since it records it on the disk also, it continues to work with the same data after restart. And also it has many enterprise features like sharding, cluster, uh, replication and Sentinel. The disadvantages is basically because it works uh, synchronously and not asynchronously, you may not be able to reach the performance that uh, asynchronous programming or alternatives natives provides us. Uh, on a single instance. Uh, it needs RAM that is a basic requirement according to a data size and does not support any complex queries like relational database does like in SQL and if transaction receives an error or something happens to the transaction there is no point of return. So these are some of the disadvantages. We'll switch on to the Visual Studio now to the basic representation on how an a Redis uh, can be used in ASP.NET application. To start with, I have created a simple web API project and I have added uh, certain dependencies. To start with, we have a dependency called uh, Microsoft extension caching uh, uh, .stack exchange Redis. Um, we also have Newtonsoft JSON for uh, converts. And also important to remember is that we need to run these commands to pull the Redis. So Docker pull Redis and we have to run the Redis instance on a particular port. So these are the basic setup we need to do. After this, we will have to set uh, the services, configure the services. So if you see this line 30, um, you have to add stack exchange Redis cache to a particular connection string. And this is same as we have already discussed that we'll be running an instance on a particular port. After this setup, we have basic um, entities. So we have shopping cart entity, item entity and the shopping cart entity. So these are some of the basic entities we have for our shopping cart processing. Also we have done is created a repository. And to start with, this is the main important line, which is uh, we are using IS distributed cache. I distributed cache uh, is an object as a, used as an object as a Redis cache. Um, since in startup class, we have configured Redis as a distributed cache, we can be, we will be able to use it like this. So when we inject the in this interface, the, it will create a Redis cache instance. Um, after that, uh, with using this object, every Redis CLI command included in this context class as a method member. Okay. So uh, we have implemented this method into our API uh, requirements um, like uh, get a string. Moving on, we have uh, all these entities actions uh, like get basket, update basket, and similarly in our controller, we'll be calling these entities uh, with the specified actions which we want to perform. So I'll go ahead and run this application now. And as you can see, we are getting these three. Um, controller actions like get up, uh, update or uh, uh, save and undelete. So this was pretty much about the uh, Redis implementation with ASP.NET Core. See you in the next video for the microservices. Have a nice day.